Pacific Park Ferris Wheel in Santa Monica, California is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, and it's a location favorite for the entertainment industry, making cameos in movies, TV shows, and music videos. Here it is in the movie Iron Man. The huge candy-colored wheel is part of an amusement park called Pacific Park on the Santa Monica Pier and it towers over 130 feet over the Pacific Ocean. During the day, the wheel has one of the best views in Los Angeles, from Venice to Malibu to Catalina. And when the sun goes down, the wheel has stunning light shows that come to life. nighttime light shows aren't automated. They're custom created, pixel by pixel, by one man. I'm not an artist by trade, nor by hobby. I, I'm not good with colors, and to some degree I think I'm a little bit colorblind. <laughs> but I, I, I'm a very visual person. I'm a visual learner. I, I like that, I like seeing uh, something develop. Initially, early on, you could almost equate it to a garage band. You know, a lot of noise, a lot of lights, a lot of movement. And as we gained experience with it, and as I programmed and learned that bright, white, crazy wasn't always the best, we backed away. We changed it up a little bit, toned it up, and then we started telling stories. Now, the stories are only in my head, but every time I write a new program, I learn something a little bit new, a little bit different. We have a basic program. It's, it's not too fancy. Uh, it allows us to program each LED on the Ferris wheel. Each circuit board on the wheel has red, blue, and green LEDs. So when I tell this particular section of the wheel to turn on red, it turns on the red LEDs. When I tell it I want this one to be yellow, it turns on the red and the green LEDs, and from a distance, it looks yellow. And same with blue. Blue turns on just the blue LEDs. Magenta turns on the red and blue LEDs and gives you that unique color. The more spectacular effects mm -hmm. come from being able to move outwards and inwards. Because it is a wheel, it is constantly rotating, we try to keep the pattern symmetric. So no matter what angle the wheel is at while it's in operation, you see the same image at all times. It's, it's kind of like me learning to play the piano or learning music. It, it all flows and it all comes together once you understand the correlation between the pattern here and the representation of the wheel here. If programming the Ferris wheel is like learning to play the piano, Dana has a lot more keys to work with. Here in the maintenance shop is one LED light board. But there are 1,500 light boards on the Ferris wheel outside and a total of 160,000 LED lights. Now, the program that we were looking at earlier, the computer tells which light to turn on on which circuit board. If we were, the computer program were to tell it just to turn on the red LEDs, only the red ones would come on, likewise with the blue and the green. The wheel turning here today is actually the second Ferris wheel in the park's history. The original Ferris wheel on this pier opened in 1996 and was converted to the world's first solar-powered Ferris wheel in 1998. However, because it was exposed to such salty air over the ocean, over time it needed to be replaced. In 2008, the park unveiled the newest wheel you see here today, made with galvanized steel to protect from corrosive rust and double the amount of spokes for a better light show. Today, it's still the only Ferris wheel in the world that is solar powered, and it now saves 75% of the energy used by the old wheel. To maintain the old lighting system, if we wanted to change the color of the Ferris wheel, we would have to uh, allocate uh, about 40 man hours to put technicians on ladders to manually unscrew the light bulb and then screw a new light bulb in and put a new color light on. To change the colors now, three keystrokes and a keyboard, and I'm done. Although he makes it sound easy, it can take Dana up to two weeks to create one seven-minute light show. Each one of these frames was programmed one frame at a time. And a very popular favorite for most people around here 
is Valentine's Day. I wanted a, bit, a little bit of anticipation. Give it a little bit of eye candy, a little bit of sparkle. Let it move around a little bit. Hypnotize you a little bit. And then after we get to there, we kind of dissolve out, leave a little bit of suspense, pop out, and give it the big heart. What's the coolest thing for me is flying out of LAX at night and taking off over the ocean and looking out the window. I always take the right hand seat so I can look out the window and say, look down and say, yeah, I wonder how many people a year are looking out their windows, taking off from LAX and seeing my wheel. That's cool. That's the cool part about it.